Welcome with another video. Today we're going to learn 14 most common Somali phrases. If it is your first time, please hit the like button and subscribe. Let's start. This one is the first basic thing you want to Where do Adia? Where do Adia? It means common sentences. Halkan Imo. Halkan Imo. Halkan Imo. Halkan Imo. It means come here. Halkan means here. Imo means come. Halkan Imo. Wan ku bahanahai. Wan ku bahanahai. Wan ku bahanahai. Bahanahai. Nahai. Bahanahai. Wan ku bahanahai. I need you. I awi. I awi. I awi. So you say I awi. It means help me. I awi. Okay. The last one is in this paragraph is Kof e awia ayan ubahanahai. Kof e awia ayan ubahanahai. Kof e awia ayan ubahanahai. It means I need someone who can help me. I need someone who can help me. Awia wa awi means help. Awinat means help. So Kof e awia ayan o bahanahai. Bahanahai it means bahanahai wa need. So kof means a person. E awia ayan o bahanahai. I need someone who can help me. So when you want to ask someone for help, you can say e awi. Help me. E awi. Or you can say ask other people and say I need someone who can help me. It means kof e awia ayan o bahanahai. Coffee awia ayan ubahanai. Okay. The other one is awe muskusha awe awe wa awe muskusha ama slash zuliga muskusha zuliga. It means where awe is the toilet. Toilet means muskusha slash restroom means. Muskol, you know, so it's actually restroom and toilet is actually the same. So in Somali, Muskosha and Zuliga are the same, but different people use. And for example, North Somali people use Zuliga, and while the South and Central Somali people use Muskosha. So when you are in South Somali, you actually say like Muskosha and you say. Uh, same goes like uh, when you're in America, you say like restroom or any other places like UK or somewhere or even other countries, you say toilet. So actually they're the same, but in the same different, you know, like uh, countries. So, Awe Muskosha Amazuliga, you can say both of them. Awe Muskosha or Awe Zuliga. Inte Usota, Inte. Usata in te usata wa where where are you going where are you going in te usata in te usata in te usata where are you going okay guriga ige guriga ige wa take me home take me home guriga means home ige wa take me okay Guriga ige, take me home. For example, when you want to catch a taxi, so you say like, take me home. Okay. Kuso ali. Kuso ali. Kuso ali. It means repeat again. Repeat again. Kuso ali. If you want to say, iguso ali. It means like, repeat that again for me. Or you can say, say that again. Or repeat that again or say that again. Kuso ali. Kuso Ali in a polite way. Okay. One Dali. One Dali. One Dali. It means I'm tired. One Dali. I'm tired. 
وان دالي امتارد آت ايان او دالنا هاي آت ايان او دالنا هاي آت ايان او دالنا هاي it means I'm very tired و exhaust آت means very ايان او دالنا هاي آت ايان او دالنا هاي I'm very tired I'm very tired آت ايان او دالنا هاي so آت ايان او دالنا هاي دالا نهاي آت أيان أدالا نهاي when you say I'm very tired okay ما فهمين ما فهمين I don't understand ما فهمين ما فهمين or you can say I didn't understand you can make in the past ما فهمين okay so لوقت كلا يقول هذل لوقت كلا يقول هذل it means speak to me another language with another language. Okay, لوقت كلا يقول هذا. For example, you ask some, uh, you talk to someone in English and he didn't, he doesn't understand. So you say like, uh, could you please speak another language? So it's like لوقت كلا يقول هذا. لوقت كلا يقول هذا. So that's it. Okay, one فهمي. Well, I understood one فهمي. فهن it means understand وان فهمي so may it means like it shows like it is past وان فهمي so I don't want to go deep into the grammar so وان فهمي I understood إيجا رالي نقو إيجا رالي نقو excuse me إيجا رالي نقو excuse me okay it's a burden okay إيجا رالي نقو رالي نقو وادي كرتا you can say like رالي نقو or إيجا رالي نقو مهد سنت مهد سنت means you are well uh, thank you so I made a mistake here مهد سنت it means like thank you مهد سنت means thank you or like uh, you're welcome you can say like مهد uh, سنت thank you and when you say like a uh, you're welcome. When you want to say like you're welcome, adigamudan. So you are welcome means adigamudan. Adigamudan. So mehtsenit means thank you. So let me find a pen in here so I can write that down. Thank you means mehtsenit. Mehtsenit means thank you. Sorry. Again, thank you. Okay. Thank you. Mehatsenit. Okay. You're welcome. Menis adiga mudan. Adiga mudan. Adiga mudan. When someone does a good thing for you, so you can say adiga mudan. Adiga mudan. So adiga mudan. And all, all of you, um, I'm going to ask you if it is your first time and please subscribe and hit the like button. I hope you will get more advantage and I hope this journey will be interesting for everyone who's struggling to learn or to communicate Somali language. So thank you very much.